Living with Water in the Next 300 Years, St. Paul's Episcopal School. In New Orleans, we face a multitude of water management issues. While the land we live on has been created by deposits from across the country settling into the Delta for centuries, more recently, pesticides, herbicides, and fertilizers have accompanied these deposits from industrial agricultural practices. The result is dead zones that kill all aquatic life and threaten our natural ecosystems, which are home to countless Louisianians and our historic seafood industry. Through practices of pumping the groundwater, surface water, and channeling sediment out of the Gulf of Mexico, New Orleans is sinking at a rate of 1.6 inches a year. With sea level rise and climate change accelerating, we at St. Paul's are taking action now to build a more sustainable future. On campus, we can see our own flooding around the play yard after long rain events. Excess water runs off into the street, putting more pressure on the pumps and leaching harmful chemicals into the wetlands. The water that doesn't reach the street moves the mulch around and makes the campus unsafe for recess play. In order to make our campus better adapted to large rain events, we designed and constructed a French drain rain garden. By mapping the downspouts of the buildings, we planned the route of our French drain to follow the contours of our campus. We also used online maps to measure the area of roof draining to the downspout to calculate our desired size of the rain garden. Once we marked out the clear path of the drain, we enlisted various classes to help with the installation. We explained benefits, such as putting less pressure on the pumping system, cleaning the runoff, and returning water to the groundwater, supporting our nearby vegetable gardens. The last section of the garden will be planted with the native Louisiana irises to provide pollinator habitat and increase water retention. We plan to finish our French drain by the end of the school year. Of the 823.7 gallons of water that come from the downspouts targeted, 428.5 gallons will be captured by our rain garden. We will continue to problem solve ways to capture more in the future to minimize all water runoff from campus. We recommend next year that we install rain barrels onto the downspouts to decrease the flow of water into the rain garden, thereby capturing the rainwater for the vegetable gardens. Our weekly pause to work service program will keep up with any maintenance of the rain garden and third and sixth graders will design informational signage as part of their unit on wetland ecology. Moving forward, we would like to measure the impact of the rain garden on our water bill as it relates to our vegetable garden. Since our vegetable garden is downhill from our rain garden, it is our hope that the water that is, has infiltrated back into the ground will flow towards the vegetable garden and require less manual watering. Since we have one source that we have water from this year, we will be able to compare next year's water bill with our current usage to determine the savings from the rain garden.